Well, so Boris has been on the beach bronzing while the country collapses into crisis under a zombie government. And somehow there's still two more weeks to go before the new occupant of number 10 comes to crash the economy once and for all. And before Tony Blair comes scuttling out of the shadow, shouting things can only get better, well, they're probably about to get a whole lot worse. Oh, well, let's make like Marin and have some fun before it all goes to pot. It's time for this. Well, get your car nicked or your house burgled and they're probably not even going to turn up. But throw on some 90s bangers and they'll be there in high-vis tabards doing a dance routine. Police in Lincoln have been caught on camera doing the Macarena at a Pride Festival. Of course they have. But that's OK, because it apparently helps with community relations, according to their boss. All that alleged targeting under stop and search, well, they can dance in formation. Never mind that a dispersal order reportedly had to just be issued a couple of hours after this when a large number of fights broke out in the city. And what about unbridled misogyny in their ranks? Nothing to see here. These boys can bust moves to a song about a hussy that should have been condemned to the dustbin of history. And those soaring crime rates. What's the problem? I mean, look at the hip action on those coppers. Now, why is it that all we got was some supermarket sarnies and a bottle of warm Prosecco when every other country seems to have a proper partying prime minister? Berlusconi did the whole bunga bunga thing and now Finland's arguably totes gorge young PM has got the rap for going out and partying into the wee small hours with pop stars and telly celebs, even agreeing to do a drugs test to show she wasn't on happy pills. Well, the women of Finland aren't having any of it. They've been posting videos in solidarity of them also busting some shapes on the dance floor. But her critics say it all looks a little reckless since Finland agreed to join NATO, rattling neighbour Russia. Well, Marin also was forced to apologise for going out clubbing till 4am after coming into contact with a COVID-19 case, saying she missed the text telling her to isolate because she left her work phone at home. Just as well, they don't have one of those big red briefcases with some pretty critical codes. Now, while young people in Finland may be loving their leader's ability to connect with fellow millennials, it's hardly likely many here are going to cast a supportive vote, having yet again been cast into oblivion by political leaders. Universities are now calling for tuition fees to go up to 24 grand a year, blaming the major intake of foreign students, especially Chinese, of course, on necessary admissions to get extra cash. So not only did young people get locked up for two years and have their brains addled by social media telling them to change gender or self-harm, <coughs> they will also never buy a house and will be paying off our spiralling national debt as well as their own if they deign to get themselves an education. The country hates the youth. Let's give the last <laughs> word to you. <laughs> Uh, it, in order, I mean, 24,000 a year is outrageous. I think um, as a father of children at university, it's shocking the way they've been I told... I heard you actually whisper an expletive when I said that <laughs> number. 24 grand! I mean, 9,000 a year at the moment. Of course, that's paid back if you earn over 24 grand in your, in your, uh, in your, um, when you get in, into the workforce. But I think they've had a really hard time as students, and that is, I mean, it's, they are tone deaf, I think, universities. There is no actual right to complain. If you get a bad service as a student, how do you get money back? You're paying for a service, you're getting given 10 weeks of uh, lectures on YouTube and told to email in your questions to your tutor. It's outrageous. I think students are, are treated appallingly and any party that got on the side of students would do well at the next elections. Quickly on to Marin. Poor Marin, but she is <laughs> Prime Minister. You can't go clubbing and looking a bit like, like she was, dancing like that. And if that, that was a male or female Prime yeah. Minister... It's pretty poor. Uh, and the police doing the Macarena, I think the problem is issue has context. At the time, it was fine. You're surrounded by people at a, at a, at a, at a march. But, of course, there's wider issues at stake and you can't be seen to be doing that if you're the police. But I, I know why it happened. It happens every year at Notting Hill Carnival. It does, it does. That's coming up soon as well, isn't it? It's so a we bit can of fun, look Alex. forward. We can look forward to some twerking cops in the very <laughs> near future. Christopher, thank you so much for your company today. Always love it.